Yo, we bite with another one, man. We still applying this pressure, man, every week. You know what I'm talking about? Another episode, man. We into this season two right now, you feel me? We got it off the ground. We got it out the mud. Now we got it rocking and rolling. We still going. As you know, you feel me, when we come on the platform, the name of the platform is Who Am I with T. Murray. So we always start off with letting our guests, let the folks know who they are. So... Go ahead and let these folks know what it is, brother. Hey, what the fuck? It do. It's Lil' Mo Sabs, you know what I'm saying? Come from West Atlanta, Florida, you know what I'm saying? That's where we at right now. We in BML Studios, and we about to kick this shit the fuck off, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Hey, do it. So, man, let's take them back, you feel me? We gonna take them way back, way before Lil' Mo Savage. Yeah. Way before where I, where I met you at, and we gonna get into that, too. Yeah. Let's take them past that, man. Let's go into the early years, man. I'm going to come up, man. Childhood. How, how early we talking about? Shit, wherever you want to start. Shit, I all mean. The, all the poor elementary coming up. All right, well, this music shit, I would say that shit started probably like early as I could think. Probably like 15, 16. Around 15, 16, I was, I was just making rhymes and shit. My brother was really rapping first. So I was just taking his shit, you know what I'm saying? I was taking a lot of his shit. I was just copying that shit, saying that shit with mine. I was robbing his ass, blind boy. I was taking all his shit. But then bro started stopped rapping, so I was like, damn, I ain't got no more rhymes. I ain't even had no rhymes, you know what I'm saying? All my rhymes was his rhymes, so shit, I had to start making some rhymes. And it started from there, you know what I'm saying? I started kicking that shit off. I even got one of my partners, you know what I'm saying? One of my earliest partners when I was rapping in the backyard and shit, bro. Yeah, Hurt my, hurt my ass, that's how I met my dog right here, but, um, yeah, bro, that shit started around then, bro, I was just rapping, 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 trying to figure out what my flow was, what my sound was, that's how that shit started, way back, shit, you know. So you, you started early with the rap? Hell yeah, like 15, 16. Okay, so that's, you feel me, high school years, but early high school years? Hell yeah, well, before, yeah, yeah, like, ninth grade. So just Man, tell me about that, just school and, and just rapping in, in school and shit like that, you feel me? Man, rapping to fuck your life up in school, man. It'll make it hard to even want to do that shit, man. Cause you don't think it's cool to go to class and shit. You you, you get into other shit, you trying to, you trying to <coughs> push a whole different agenda in high school, you know what I'm saying? But it's better for, for fans, getting fans real quick. Okay, so tell me about that transition from basically it sounded like you made the choice right then and there, like <coughs> I mean we, we, the finna go, we finna go after we finna go after this music. Shit, it really started when that shit started popping off with my peers, like <coughs> I used to just make music with my peers, you know what I'm saying, for my dogs and like they'd hear that shit and be like, Bro, this shit sound fire as fuck, but like the world gotta hear this shit, you know what I'm saying? You only got like four of us that hear this shit. Yeah. So, I mean, I was like, shit, I got all this music. I had like 30, 40 songs at that time. And I didn't have nobody hit them shit. So, my dogs was just like, bro, start doing showcases and shit. Start getting knocked up, bro. I started hitting them bitches back to back to back. And you know, bro, that's mm -hmm. how I met Chad. Mm -hmm. So, I was hitting them bitches back to back to back. I'm talking about every night, Monday through Friday. Saturday and Sunday, probably take one day off. We back at it. One of them weekend days, you know what I'm saying? Tired as fuck back then. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you kind of already got into how we met, you feel me? Hell yeah. Outside, I'm seeing you running around. Hell yeah, man. I was trying to hit every fucking... Man, I was hitting every club I could and yeah. all, every showcase that was out, bro. Free, $10 pay, all that shit, bro. It don't fucking matter, bro. We were just trying to make the shit work, make the shit make sense. Let's make talk sense. about that a little bit, because that's kind of, I think, an issue with, with a lot of artists. In the, in the game right now. You know, I be moving around, so I hear all the, I hear a lot of pros, and I hear a lot yeah. of cons. We hear more a lot of cons than anything. Yeah, it's a lot like, of shit. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of shit. There's a lot of janky promotion shit going on oh, yeah. and shit like that, but as an artist who now went through the, went through the ranks, you feel me, went through the mud, You do you feel like it's, been, like it's worth it? Is it beneficial? Like, should you do it or you shouldn't do it? Or, we talking about for like, new artists coming up. Yeah, trying new artists, you don't got you out. I feel like you should let it choose you. Don't chase after no false shit. You know what I'm saying? If you hear some shit, if you make some shit and you know that shit ain't 
that shit ain't that and don't play that shit I don't it's a million and five hundred million thousand things to do in this world other than rap you know what I'm saying that can make some real money you know what I'm yeah. saying that's making way more money too so shit this ain't the only thing to do I just think the the social media the look everybody want to be rap you know, you got some, you got some artists like, yeah, nigga, fuck you, nah, nigga can't do no showcase, you gotta pay me. Man. And then you hear, you, I hear a lot of, I hear a lot of managers or a and and it's like, nah, why you not doing showcases? I feel like showcases are beneficial all the time. Like, it don't matter if you this big, if this big, I mean, it's a showcase, I mean. If you local still, if your ass ain't, you know what I'm saying, on tours and you ain't out there, then shit, what's the showcase except bringing more fans? What's the showcase instead of, what's the showcase but bringing more people to hear your shit? You know what I'm saying? For Just sure. one more one more pair of L's that's gonna hear your shit. Who knows who end up, bro? So, yeah. Showcase is always good shit. Like, that shit good. Whether you gotta pay $10 or not, but uh, people gonna hear your shit. Ain't nobody gonna hear nothing in your, in your room but you. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> what he says. Nah, ain't nobody gonna hear shit in your room, so. You might as well just get the fuck out though. Put your shit out. Cause you know we're in the we're in the time too where niggas like you know niggas drop upload some shit the night while we talking and by right the morning, now a nigga dropping some shit right now by the morning we that bit of shit by he popping he gone o'clock in the morning he gone bit, that shit viral you know what I'm saying viral and that that's that's a whole different story that's a whole different story if you go viral your life won't change just by going viral your music especially. You put some shit out with some music, and that shit go viral. You don't gotta worry about nothing. They gonna come and get you anyway. They gonna come and get you. But sometimes I feel like it's a gift and a curse because when you got, when you're not an artist like you. Oh, and you uh, really just made like some that shit. Around, put in, you know what I'm saying? No ten thousand hours. The the hundred thousand hours. You feel you hit it right on the head. Yeah, I feel like I feel like if you trying to go viral and you go viral and <laughs> me ain't been making no music. That's just name name drop her ass, but it, it's a whole bunch of it's a whole bunch of artists that go viral that gotta figure this shit out as it come. That don't mean that they ain't gonna be that they gonna disappear because they ain't gonna disappear. It's hard to disappear if you go viral. You gotta try to fail. You go viral, bro. You always gonna be viral. I know some viral videos I remember right now, so I know they still getting paid off that shit. So I mean, make what works for you work for you, bro. If you sure. go viral shit, if I go viral, it's different from a nigga that ain't never made no music going viral and a nigga that's always made some music go viral. If he go viral, he out there. Go. He gonna been making music all his life. Go. I go viral, I'm gone. First time. For sure. Yeah, first time. For sure. So you know when we linked up two at the time, we had Cash Junkie. Yeah, man. Better J. Yeah, man. Going stupid. Yeah, that shit was that man. That shit went everywhere. That shit was on Cap That shit was that shit was that shit at West Coast. That shit went everywhere. H that took that shit everywhere. Shot H that. He sure. took that shit everywhere. You know Let, I mean? Let's talk about that that process and that when you coming into that transition and then from that where you had to go from there. So let's talk about going into the Cash Junkie and the catching catching the motion that it did. That shit crazy because Cash Junkie was some shit like. That was just some shit I made up in the garage, bro. I was smoking on shit and I smoking like, oh, I want some some wild ass club anthem type shit where I could just just put that shit on, go wild, go crazy, you know what I'm saying? I want some shit like that. So I just started saying, man, I'm about to say popping this and pop that. Yeah, she gonna a bag this, a bag. I want a whole bunch of that, a whole bunch of that in the song. So shit, I started writing that shit down, man. I'm jotting that bitch down. I'm trying to get that bitch right. I'm like, man, this guy, he gotta drop like this. So that shit sound like this. It gotta sound like this. So man, when I got that shit down, got it mastered, and it was what it was. I I I, I ran that shit by H dot. Like, hey man, what you what you think about this song? He fell in love with that bitch. We went and did it on the whole video, uh, in the kitchen with H dot. Shout out to that too. You know what I'm saying? We went and did that shit. Uh, shit went crazy, bro. People fuck with that so it, they fuck with that song so much. It was crazy to me. Cause shit, I wrote that in like twenty five minutes, bro. Or something trying to make a club, some club and some shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that shit, that shit worked out though. It worked out. It worked out. So now you get right there and you're like, okay, now you having a form of success. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't think it was gonna go as many as many cities as it did. You know what I'm saying? I'll try to make it for the south. I'll try to make it for like Miami and shit like that. Yeah. 
that shit started going to the West Coast. He taking it over there and put it in rave clubs and shit like that. They just like to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit, he got DJs from the West Coast calling me and, and, and DMing me, bro, about that song. And I ain't even met them one day in my life, bro. So that shit was that shit was wicked for me, bro, for one song. So that let me know, bro. It's only one song. It don't take one song. That shit could take you up. Take you everywhere, bro. That shit could take you everywhere. Before places you ain't even been before, that song gonna go. You know what I'm saying? So that 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 showed me, bro. You know what I'm saying? It only take one song. Strength of one song, crazy as fuck. But you know, from from definitely from there, I seen I seen the grind go up. You feel me? Hell yeah, yeah, man. We did a lot of shit after Cash Junkie. I went to I went to 300, you know what I'm saying? Shout out 300, you know what I'm saying? I met up, I met up with a bunch of the a and R's with um, DJ MK and uh, DJ D Strong, shout out to them too. That's family right now. So um, that whole that whole experience was was my first like uh, foot in the door. Uh, okay, yeah. we in, we we in the big league now. We got our foot in the door. You know what I'm saying? Now we need to bust this bitch down. You know what I'm saying? So after Cash Junkie, that's that's what that's my focus right now. Like. Stepping into that that major league from little league major league, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, yeah. So what's been going on since since that time? You feel me? I just Cause. dropped the tape in December. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've been dropping a lot of videos for that shit. I got Kurt Mobain out that shit out on all platforms. I got Congo out that shit on all platforms. Um, right now I'm working on another music video for Designer Dreams, and I just shot one for lunch. That shit just got shot too. But um, I'm actually working on a new tape with me and my partners and my producer from Russia. Shout out uh, One Damn Rich. That's his, his whole producer name. He from Russia, so I fought with Brett a long way. We got some um, United Ties, some international ties, you know what I'm saying? I fought with sure. Russia. I fought with Russia a long way. But um, yeah, that's what we got going on. We got Lil Russia, the name of the mixtape is Lil Russia. That shit gonna be fire as fuck. Make sure you check that shit out when it drops, because um, we coming we coming crazy on that shit. I like That's that shit. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah, we, we, we building a bridge between us and Russia. You know, shout out to Ukraine, though. We fuck with y'all. But we building a bridge between between the Russia and uh, US, US with just this mixtape. That shit going to go crazy. Okay, then. So tell me about the transition from Vetter J, where I, where I met you at, mm. going in the... Love most savage. I mean, Vetter J. When I made that, I made that name when I was like, when I was like sixteen, seventeen, bro. I made that shit round up, bro. And I just wanted, I just made some shit. I, I think I actually, actually, I think I googled a raw name like <laughs> when I was sixteen, seventeen, like to put in front of my house name J, because they called me Junior at my crib. So I was like, I'm gonna just put that J, boom, and think of a cool ass first name to put yeah. in front of that bitch. So I think I Google. I can't even remember if I Googled some shit or if I came up with that shit. I don't know what the fuck. I just made that shit up, came up with that name. I was like, yeah, that shit sticking. But then I got older. As I got older, and I'm thinking about marketing, and I'm I'm learning about um, branding and, and promotion and and how to how to set up your 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 portfolio correctly and what they look for. I wanted something something more something that pop more you know what i'm saying something that that when i put it next to the artist and that's actually on right now it look good just just off site like damn i want to click on that who the fuck is that you know what I'm saying? see and i ain't even i ain't know you 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 did it for that reason because there's yeah. a reason why i asked because when i seen the name change and i started yeah. listening I'm still listening to the music. You feel me behind yeah. the scenes every day still. Yeah. And I'm seeing the trajectory. Uh, I'm saying it wrong again for the second time on my yeah. episode. Yeah. Trajectory of the music. That's how I feel like that's where the name came from. Like, yeah, I'm getting a little more savage with yeah. that shit. Because yeah. like, certain songs I'm hearing are you it's previewing. Getting, yeah. We're getting the, it's, the climate yeah. change. Yeah, 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 yeah. We wanted the, we wanted the, it's, it's, a, it's supposed to feel like. You know, he getting older, you know what I'm saying? He 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 becoming something else. Like when I started, I was thinking I wasn't even thinking about business. And that's how I know that I wasn't even thinking the right way when I made the name. You know what I'm saying? So when I rebranded, I even told the radio station, I told all of them we did a whole interview on the radio and everything for that shit because it had to be serious. I had just went you and said did a the key word to rebranding. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep doing that. You gotta keep doing that, especially when you're trying to get into this type of industry you know that you gotta keep doing that i know that i gotta keep doing that 
For sure. So shit, that's how I came up with that shit, bro. I was just putting it next to names like Drake featuring Lil Mo Savage, Kanye West featuring Lil Mo Savage. I used to write that shit down, bro, and just look at it like that shit look good, bro. Do that shit, bro. That do make sense. Put that, that shit on yeah, yeah man, you gotta set that shit up and put featuring whatever. But I was thinking it was because because what I'm listening to from the music, how the music changed. It wasn't even that. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't even that, bro. It wasn't even that. I, with that, that was just me growing, getting getting better with. Okay, I'm mastering my own craft. I want my shit to sound like this. I want my shit to sound like this. I want these type of beats. You know what I'm saying? Because when I was growing up, bro, I was just taking any type of beats, taking just making shit, just making shit. But now it's more yeah. like when I make a song, I gotta. I got a business plan. I got behind it. What I want to do with it Strategic. after that. Yeah, got to be, bro, because shit, we only getting older, bro. For sure. We only getting older. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, we, we, we 15 minutes into it. You feel me? Y'all know we just kicking shit. Who am I with T-Murray, man? We got some more shit coming for y'all. We're going to definitely get into some music after we come back from this break. Yeah, and we got a two for one in night too, so we got another one coming in right behind this hot. Yeah, you feel me? I already know what it is, man. Yo, we bite with it, man. You know what I'm saying? Who am I with T Murray? So we had to switch it up on y'all. This is the first time we did this, man, on the two for one. So we got to restart from the beginning again, you feel me? In the middle type shit. You feel me? Let the guests know who y'all, brother. What the lit read, man? It's your boy, Polo. Checking in for West Island, the Enville representative. Y'all didn't know what time it is. Yes, yeah, sir. 18, motherfucking. Let me say it. Right? 87. 87. Yeah, I'm right. say it. I don't yeah. even fuck up, but I don't nah. want the whole Enville to be on my ass. <laughs> I'm already knowing. Nah. Big shout outs to the Bill. For sure. So, man, you know, we in here with Who Am I with T. Murray, man. Just going to let head in. Let's get into it. Polo, you know, I've been watching you for a minute, but for the folks who don't know you, man, just, yeah, yeah. just get on the just get on the run to you, you feel me, from the beginning, how we got into it. Shit, man, I've been doing this music shit for a little minute, so, you know, born and raised in Eville, I done lived in pretty much every city in Orlando, you feel me, so I've been moving around, like, just growing up, just living in every hood and shit, so I just got to feel like everything that was going around, you feel me, so. After that, like once I've been started gravitating towards music, it was just like it's about that time to keep it serious. You feel me? So I just kept stay with the music and shit like that. But niggas just was a kid growing up. Nigga really just was living. You feel me? Yeah. Nigga really ain't really getting too much until I got older type shit. That's when shit started getting serious. You feel me? But yeah, yeah. Now tell me about some of your earlier successes with in, in the music. You feel me? Some of your early wins. You feel me? Yeah, man. I, I think um some some of my early wins was probably like getting getting signed to New Breed at the, at the earlier years and shit like that. You know what I mean? But even still, more majority of my early years was really going to, to them showcases and and getting them yeah. them link ups. You feel me? Because I had traction a little bit before I had ever got attention to really anybody. You feel me? As far as just going to the clubs, going to the strip clubs, doing the showcase at strip clubs and shit like that. That shit was going on at that time. So, nigga was hitting them bitches down there every month, twice a month. You feel me? That, whatever that had them shits going on. But, yeah, man. So, other than that, really, like, now that I got my own stamp, I'm just nigga trying to do that shit right. You, feel yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause you cold, you, you cold with the with yeah. with the lyrics. You feel me? You cold with the you, flow. Man. You feel me? Yeah. And you know the folks who don't know. You know you done been. You know the locals. They know they done seen y'all right. here. Shout out to OMG. You feel me? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot of traction during that yeah, tournament. Yeah. During that tournament. You feel Definitely, me? Yeah, that shit helped me out a lot. I ain't gonna lie. Um, the tournament was cool. I ain't gonna lie. I took that shit serious. I took yeah. that shit serious because it was. You know what I mean? I be about the sport. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. So. So that shit was fun to do, goddamn. And that shit, I got songs from that shit that I still ain't put out. Like, the, the verses from that shit. A nigga low-key done made songs type shits to them bitches. So I ain't even put them bitches out yet. But I got I got a lot of shit. You got, got, you got shit. songs with people out here, too, man. We ain't gonna be modest on them today, yeah. either, man. Like, we, we gonna, we gonna get, get them for... <laughs> we gotta get the flowers. Nah, we, this right. what Who That's Am I with fact. T. Murray for, you feel me? They got... They, they, this. They gotta know this, you feel me? They That's gotta know right. this about you. 
That's a fact. So we trying to grow the bro. We trying to help you grow the brand just like you helping us grow our brand. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So, so right for them now, folks who tapping in, let them know who you know so they could know. You feel me? That's a fact. Yeah. So nigga that did, did tracks with like Tony Boy, shit like that. You know what I mean? Came up with uh, Vetta J, came in with Rudy G's, came in the game and did shit with a lot of niggas. You feel me? Like in the cut, a lot of key. You feel me? Everybody that's really in the city, if you see, if you know yeah. niggas that's mixing around, I didn't tap in with them on some like never been out shit. You feel me? Like a lot of songs that I didn't deal with niggas and shit ain't been out. I probably engineered some of you niggas, and that shit just been in the cut. You feel me? So at this point right now, I'm just like establishing my own shit. You feel me? Like really get my own label stamp, get my own production group together. And shit, and now I'm working with BML, so now I'm at BML Studios, and that's what y'all see right now. You feel me? So, with this shit going on now, it's just like I got my own opportunity to do my own shit, and at the same time, link with everybody that I've been already linking with. That's you know real. what I mean? On another level, you feel me? Like, and, and niggas is is ready to do this shit. You know what I mean? Cause niggas ain't getting, niggas ain't, this shit ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. You feel me? And, and, and I learned something new about you tonight. You feel me? On, on the journey as we was kicking it behind the scenes. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't, I didn't know. I knew you was cold on the lyrics, but I didn't know you was an engineer too. You feel me? So yeah. Take yeah, me yeah. on how you got into that that side of the, of the game. Shit, man. The first time I ever really rapped like that, me and my little cousin, we put some shit on the fucking like karaoke microphone tape player type shit. We just hook some shit up that that can record. So then niggas just got a wind of like audacity, really like janky ass record programs and shit. So niggas just always been able to use the computer type shit. Yeah. So once I started doing it more and just keep, I made like five beats before in my life. I made songs like three of them bitches and them bitches was like my first couple of songs that I recorded type shit. So from there, a nigga knew how to use the program yeah. type shit. So every time I, I was, as growing up as a kid, I had a studio in my crib. Niggas didn't know I, was, I had a studio in my crib and shit. So high school, all that shit, nigga had a studio in the crib. And I take my raps to school, rap with these niggas. These niggas be around the corner during lunchtime and shit. And niggas just go up with that bitch, bro. I got a verse, bro. What's up, bro? And that type shit. Yeah. Niggas be like, hell yeah, bro. Do your shit. Niggas was recording that shit, putting it on YouTube at the time. So I had to go ahead and rap my verse. And niggas ain't know I could rap, though. So I come with a whole verse. And I'm sliding. Niggas is like, bro, who the fuck is this nigga, bro? Like, what he doing? All right, bro. What you be doing, bro? Like, type shit. It was like that. So that shit let me know. Nigga ain't never told me I couldn't rap, bro. So niggas just kept doing that shit. That's real. And that's real that you tapped into that engineering side of it, you feel me? Yeah, man, with you the know, engineering. That's one of the, that's one of the greatest calls. This is this game for artists coming in. Yeah, yeah. One like, of the greatest calls is. Man, if it's if, is studio. If you can do it, do it, bro. Because I know some niggas just be like, bro, I don't want to fuck with no recording shit. I don't want to do it. But at the same time, I like to cut out the middleman. I be trying to hustle. I be trying to get, save money, make money on anywhere I can, yes, you feel me? So at the same time, if I can learn something and then provide a service, tap in with me because it's going to sound good. You know what I mean? I ain't going to put my name on nothing trash. You ain't never heard none of my shit sounding like trash. So that's how, I, you know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? I'm finna get into producing too. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more for that's sure. That's real. That's real. So we just kicking shit, you know what I'm saying? We just... We in the middle of a two two and one, you feel me, yes, at the same sir. time. So you know y'all y'all a y'all a y'all a, a group venture, you feel me, a team yeah, effort. Yeah. So we gonna we gonna kick back for a minute and we for to get into some of this music. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We play some shit. For to let y'all boys show out a little bit, you yeah, feel yeah, me? Shit, my man. dog baby, my dog yeah, itching yeah. over here right now yeah. to pull the trigger, you yeah, feel me? So we gonna give y'all some exclusive shit in the interview, man. Let y'all hear that. Y'all already know what it is, man. Polo. Polo. 407, man. Let's rock. Y'all already know we bite with it, man. Who am I with T. Murray? Fit to get into this gas right quick. You feel me? Y'all go ahead and crank up, man. Y'all got it. We got the Get Back Game, a little more sad. That shit out on all platforms. Just dropped a tape. It's called Cold Hearts. Everywhere you get on Spotify, YouTube, 
Apple Music, all that shit. It's called Cold Heart. The original way to spell that shit. No more savage. Go you run that, that up. Shit. We finna get into yeah. it. Off the same tape, cold heart. You know what the fuck going on? We rocking in there, bitch, with T Murray. Yes, sir. Get this shit right. Get this shit right. Get this shit right. I'm talking about. Man, you don't know what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? He gonna drop some heat. I'm gonna drop some heat. We gonna keep this bitch rocking. You know what I'm saying? Live from BML. I don't need it no more. I'm playing. I'm feeling cold. Hey, that's that shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm 
Cold Savage, Cold Heart on everything. T Murray, we in that bit rocking with you, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we finna keep getting it to these folks, man. Let's get it, Olo. You know what the fuck going on? Give him that window, Olo. Take the front stage, man. Oh, I thought you were gonna. I thought y'all were gonna give him that brush it off. That's my shit. I could, you know. She brush it off. Do that brush it off, boy. Do that brush it off, boy. Do that brush it off, boy. That's my shit. Brush it off. Hey, this is my favorite polo song. It's called Brush It Off. I had that. He was gonna give y'all some other shit, but I had to make sure he gave y'all brush it off. Cause that's that shit. Y'all see what's going on, though, man. This how we kick yeah, shit out. I'm on my with T Bird, man. man. Cool, man. I know what time it is. Yes, sir. We finna get into this shit, though. Yeah, yeah, I got you. you ready, Maestro? Yeah. Let them know what you fucking with, man. Read, man. It's your boy, yeah. Polo. We about to tap in with T. Murray. You already know what time it is. I'm about to get y'all a little uncut shit, a little unreleased shit. You feel me? I got going on. So shit y'all about to, about to pee. Let me know if y'all rocking with it. Gotta brush it off. Oh shit, I be going through, no, they don't know nothing at all They my F for favor, but still sit around and talk I'm out with T. Murray Pull Gotta up. push it on, now I stay out the way Crush it on, I be handling like a boss Gotta stand up, don't fall, but we gon' stand tall You know what it is, ain't no flaw I ain't quick, I just push pause. I can see a twinkle of it gleaming through the door. Niggas who ain't seeing me for me when I start. Had to get my time back, brushing off them charges. I ain't let none of that phase me. Brush that shit off like Jay Z. I'm like, fuck it, just pay me. I let experience raise me. They threw me in the water. I learned this one like the day. I wanna draw it with a BMW and Mercedes. If you ever fuck me over, you cannot get the same me. I don't know when I'ma make it. I don't know how long it's gonna pay me. I'ma get the money, but I know the money don't make me. When I hop into that, it be right in front of your face. You gotta do something. I ain't waiting for someone to save me. Don't know what it is, but I feel a new image. Lately. I can't leave my daughter with nothing when they come and take me I done been through a lot of shit, but I did not let it break me I can't let up on the beat, I do not know what I'm I'ma speak up on the beat and we gon' shoot where it take me Put the headphones on me and don't give me no late And see, they don't be up alone in the dark Ain't my phone, they gon' throw me on the brush it off All the shit I be going through, though they don't know nothing at all They might have for a favor, but still sit around Boy Polo, tap in with T Murray. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Man, we just kicking shit live at BML yeah, Studios, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Big vibes. Yeah, we gotta brush it off. Oh, all the shit I be going through, no, they don't know nothing at all. Brush it off, and why I stay out the way. <laughs> hey, no cash. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, follow, you go fuck. Yeah, I go to bed from it Pretty but you from the hood You want me to bed from it She talking about
pussy like.